Howdy, I'm Matt, and this is my LTE Rambler RS. Now, one little trait which this model has, which is, when you see it, is very frustrating, is hunting. Now, what is hunting, and why am I rocking the model side to side? Well, hunting, it happens when a model doesn't have enough vertical stabilization in it, and in the right circumstances, the nose will hunt side to side as the model finally sorts itself out and carries on flying. Now, I wanna just make the point here is that in the right circumstances. So this typically is exhibited when you remove your stick from the throttle and then go into a glide and then when that's combined in with some form of bank angle as well. Oh, and of course a crosswind would also cause this too. So let me just repeat, hunting is where the model does that, it rocks side to side. And the thing is, is that it's not particularly dangerous or detrimental per se to the model's flight characteristics. It's just frankly really frustrating. So I've been and set the case of what hunting is. Oh, and I'll tell you what, while I've been doing that, I've probably put up in the corner uh, the model going rocking side to side. So I'm sure you've seen that in the top left hand corner, the model rocking side to side. So how do we fix this? Well, actually it's very simple. All we do is add approximately an inch or so of extra Deprom to the vertical stabilizer and that pretty much gets rid of all of the bad rocking side to side. So when you look at this model, if I pop it up on its side for a moment and you take a side view look for it, it's really obvious and we've had several discussions amongst the community about this. Oh, talking about the community, there is a Facebook group for the LT Rambler, I've put it down here for you, uh, that is the fan group for the RS Rambler, uh, please pop across to Facebook and join in, especially if you're thinking about buying this model, you own this model, or have just got some questions about it. So anyway, coming back to the topic, if you look at this model side on and think that this top section isn't there, it's actually glaringly obvious that this model really does not have enough vertical stabilization compared to the rest of the wingspan. So to fix that, literally just a tiny bit of foam board across the top, I'll grab a ruler for you. We are approximately 40 millimeters along the top uh, and yes approximately 40 millimeters uh, along the top and that seems to have been and fixed it now I just want to stress this has not got rid of the hunting completely however it has tamed it down massively so uh, I know when I edit this video I've probably already been and put an, uh, an overlay and if you look really closely at the footage you will see the model just hunting a tiny bit that's how much impact an extra 40 millimeters say an inch and a half or so uh, vertical fin a very simple mod to do literally I just measured it up on some foam board cut it out and hot glued it on that is how much impact a tiny piece of foam board would have to your model. Now, I also want to mention one modification which perhaps you shouldn't do to your Rambler RS, which is because this model has a forward swept wing, is that you don't need to put fins on the end. And the reason why you don't want to put fins on the end is because if anything which is in front of the CG, which is about here uh, or so, is that that then acts as a rudder to the model and that's not desirable, okay? You shouldn't ever have like a rudder in front of the center of gravity. Uh, uh, instead, it would need to be aft. These little fences on here are just about adequate. Uh, personally, I would have made them a little bit bigger, but these ones are perfectly fine. So there you go, that's how you fix the hunting with the LTE Rambler RS. I very much doubt that I will be the only first person to discuss this, and I'm sure many of you will run into this issue. It can be tamed heavily by an extra 40 millimeters of Deprom foam to your vertical stabilizer. And as actually a quick note here, you'll notice that mine's got a little love bite in the back of it. So while we're on the topic of the vertical stabilizer, another thing, those magnets are not particularly good. So as such, get some pins and stick them in the back so you have a physical restraint to stop this popping off because that actually happened uh, in a, a different flight and yes, that is not a enjoyable flight experience to try and fly a model when it has no vertical stabilizer. So yeah, another little mod there. So with that said, for myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here on the workbench with the RS Rambler. Uh, I've said this many times before, the RS Rambler is not a a bad model it just requires a few minor tweaks and this is tweak number two 
of free, maybe four tweaks, which I've got a little running series on this model, and I will do uh, a joined video as well. Uh, if that sounds like something which you'd be interested in, don't forget to press the red subscribe button, and of course, press the bell notification underneath this video, so that YouTube up notifies you when the next video is out. And of course, remember, there is that LTE Rambler fan group for this model, because it is worthy of a fan group, and like I said, there's a link popping out there, and I'll put it in the video description here on YouTube for you. Any questions or comments about the LTE Rambler, especially this modification as well, let me know. You can either do that in the comments section underneath this video here on YouTube, or just pop across to the Facebook group uh, and ask away. So with that said, for myself, Matt, a big thank you for joining me here at the workbench with the Rambler, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!